then guys and this is a fire engine going past my house as well as the best striker build we have got on EAFC Pro Clubs competitive Pro Clubs but today it's not just a build we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks inside of the EAFC Pro Club so this build has already been up on the channel but I'll quickly run through it for you guys that may have not seen that video yet so we've got a 5 foot 3 striker 99 pounds uh, and then we also have got the finesse shot the rapid plus we've got the um incisive pass the ping pass the technical we've also got first touch we've got quick step and we also have Travella. i'm gonna go through things pretty quickly here do your eafc coins look like this but you want them to look like this instead well go and get yourself some cheap and reliable coins from iggm and use code cast for five percent off and these are the attributes that we have on. I'm going to let you guys just pause and take a look at these because the main aspect of this video wasn't the build, but some tips, tips and tricks inside of Pro Clubs and using this build. So these are the things we have on. Feel free to give it a cheeky pause and get some screenshots of what we have on there. And that is everything we have on this build. But let's talk about now how this build works and how good it is in games. So we have five foot three, ninety nine pounds. So we're not playing the meta. The meta is to be taller this year as it has been the last few years. But we really do like getting the ball and we like dribbling around with all. So that is why this build is very essential. RB dribbling on this game is absolutely unbelievable. RB or I R1, I think it is on PlayStation, definitely is needed. We have got 297 games played, 556 goals and 475 assists. So a extremely good return for when we are playing pro clubs. We are also, well, we were in the pro leaderboard top 100 for any, but I haven't played in a while. So we might have dropped out. We have, we're 102nd now. Jeez. We are going to have to get back into that top 100, but that shouldn't be much of an issue. I mean, we've got a higher uh, VPR than most people inside of it anyway. But uh, yeah, I just don't play as many games as everyone else, hence why we have dropped out of that. But the build itself and the gameplay, let's talk about what you need to do to improve your pro and how you play in the game. Starting off with, we're going to talk about the way that you guys are shooting up front. There are near post shots, there are far post shots. What should we be doing this year? Well, against a pro goalkeeper this year, what we have found out is near post shots, if they dive there, they're going to save it. You're best off shooting across the goal in a lot of situations on this game against an actual pro goalkeeper. The reason for that is if you shoot across the goal, there's a solid chance, even if the keeper does save it, it is going to spill back into the box and then it will go to one of your teammates, hopefully, who you're running in the box for a follow-up. If not, it will just go in the back of the net. Goalkeepers have been kind of buffed this year in the sense of if they dive the right way they are likely to save the shot but if they do dive the wrong way there's a very very good chance that your shot is going to find its way into the back of the net but as we said with this build you're going to want to be a bit more of a creative striker as well ignore the fact that it says 74 passing the passing feels great you're going to be using the double tap a and the double tap y in situations where you are under a lot of pressure for example, if there's a ball you want to get through the back line, but there's not a lot of space, try a double tap Y if you have any other options on, because it could just animate the defender to miss the ball, and then you'd have played a through ball to your other strike partner to send them straight through on goal. It is really, really worth doing. And then same with the double tap A's. Anywhere on the pitch, you get the ball where you're under pressure, and you need to quickly pass the ball off to the teammate. Double tapping A just ensures the pass happens a bit quicker, and it will just kind of... Give it a weird animation where it does help the ball get to your teammate in a better situation. It's not something you want to use 24-7, but under high pressure, it is definitely, definitely a must, in my opinion, on pro clubs. And talking about these stats, I mean, we've got, what, a 1,000 goal contributions in less than 300 games, which is absolutely insane return, uh, in my opinion. And I don't know if you guys would agree on that, but it is a very, very nice return to have on pro clubs. And that is probably only going to get better the more and more I start playing uh, and the more and more I start taking it seriously with mates. I mean, the club we're in right now, we tend to not lose many games. We're 15 wins uh, from 15 matches so far in this club. So we are having a very, very good time right now. But there are some tips and tricks in terms of pro clubs. I recommend you guys use this build, or maybe even if you want to go for a bit of a tour, build feel free to do that as well but dribbling with the rb and lb dribbling this year it's going to get you in so many spaces it's unbelievable with this build and hopefully these tips and this build will help you out to do better 